we've created a special offer just for listeners of the podcast. You can get the book, A World of Creativity, for a special price of $5.98 for paperback. And the Kindle version is only 99 cents. Go to mark-stinson.com to take advantage of this special offer. Tap into your most original thinking, organize your ideas, and create the opportunities to launch your creative work. Unlocking your world of creativity with best-selling author and brand innovator, Mark Stinson. Welcome back, friends, to our podcast, Unlocking Your World of Creativity. And today, we're going to fly, we're going to take a ferry, we're going to go over a bridge, we're going out onto an island called Geska, off the coast of Norway. And this is the home of a terrific recording studio called Ocean Sound Recording. And my guest is Henning Sporen of Ocean Sound. Henning, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. A pleasure to be here. Representing such a, a beautiful setting and inside is a technology marvel for recording music. Right now I'm sitting in our B studio, which we've installed the Dolby Atmos system, which is the latest, the greatest <laughs> thing. Yes. Yeah, so it's important to have cutting edge digital stuff as well as the old tubes and warm <laughs> goodness that we all love so much. <laughs> yes, and the warmth, certainly. I imagine that there are artists who come there for the peace, the quiet, the isolation and inspiration. But you've worked with all genres. There, There's not really a specialty of somebody who comes there just to do smooth, soft, spiritual, acoustic <laughs> recording. I've actually been, I'm not sure if it's happened yet, but we've been supposed to have, what's it called? Uh, yeah, music for, re just speech for relaxation, like yes. mantras. And I was going to record a week of Lady from Arabia. Like meditations and ASMR? I don't know, didn't happen. Yeah. Maybe you could think, but... Yeah, we've had all genres. In the beginning, we, we came out of our environment of maybe 60s pop, like a bit retro kind of pop music aesthetic or something. But what we often didn't expect was to be a place for urban music. So we had, for uh, example, lots of German hip hop. Very hard hip-hop in German. For some reason, they seem to like it a lot here, which we didn't expect at all. And yes, it's very diverse. And we also do quite a bit of jazz uh, at the moment. There's Italian uh, artists there, or quintet. From, but they came here because they love the, the maybe Scandinavian jazz the sound tradition or something. I've not replied back, at least I've tried to And you don't notice the difference, but I do I try to keep myself busy, put my mind on something else But somehow my thoughts only know their way back to you
brett bort til svingen Alle hater jeg kan virke på tingen min Men jeg tar det med et smil Stolt og kjære at det svulmer i bringen min Men det er ikke min bil Bil, bil, og fi bil 100 prosent på den batteripakken Hjelper lite med øyn i nakken Bagasjerommet er max først av pen Evig jeg er skunde tapt til min stat Så skal leies jeg bukker Henter på rappen Tesla Model 3 Hvor er knappen? Fly som veisplåg i lysgårdsbakken 120k på bil, du er tett i pappen Må rekke tak og freda Det er legemidler oppi huden min, det er helt rakeda Lurer i sivet liksom jeda Jeg banner gassen på spiket for å få berettet Det er noen sparetips rett i kassen Penger spart er penger tjent Når jeg skal ha bena Du vet jeg kjører alt i ben, stiv i bena Og gutte drømmen er på vent Ekte lag arena, klikk og hent, fri agent Jeg betalt kontingent You, you built it as a studio from the ground up. Yeah, and I was something that it shouldn't really work because at the time we built the studio in 2009, there was a lot of the like big studios around the globe were closing and we got a lot of uh, our equipment when we started from studio in Mayfair. We had the like the console which radio had, and Spice Girls and Madonna, lots of famous artists had recorded the, their records on and so we started at that time and I think since we had uh, this different thing it's actually have worked <laughs> against yeah. and it's also different I'm still I'm not in competition to any of the studios in the city so I think we are still I'm a little bit acquainted with the uh, owner of Mayfair Studio, which closed, and he follows us on our Instagram, and it's no uh, bad blood, but yeah, we came out of uh, maybe lots of studios closing, uh, but we tried something a little bit different, and it seemed to work. <laughs> yes. And we, we could do retro sounding stuff, but we <laughs> also, it been, it's been important to us to follow the trends, and and... Maybe the stuff we had least of is uh, black metal, actually. <laughs> yes, there's always a chance. And I think we imagine the board engineer or something being the silent partner. Hey, just push the button, run the board, make us sound great. But what is indeed, though, your contribution to the whole creative effort? Yeah, I hope that try I'm fighting a little bit for engineers to be recognized as creative people because I think most of us are in it for yeah, we're in it to make great music not to turn knobs <laughs> <laughs> turning knobs itself is not the reason why I'm working here if you but it's also a great opportunity for us as with an outside perspective for the musicians to be someone who looks who is not that close to the project and have a bit fresh ears and fresh perspective. And we also are trained in or looking at the big picture of the song. And where a musician who is playing a part or something might be stuck on the details of the, how to play it or not necessarily thinking about how it re relates to the vocal or like the big, what we're trying to achieve. I think we as engineers and producers easily take that role of helping them to realize the whole vision of the song. <laughs> yes, certainly <laughs> they have a that. vision. Yes, yeah. and you're there to actualize it for sure. Yeah. 
But there's also plenty of stories in music about a random guitar riff or some sample that was just off in the corner that somebody says, wow, we never expected this. Or you put a tweak on it that we hadn't heard before. What about those light bulb moments? We don't need any We don't need My guest has been Henning Sporn of Ocean Sound Recording in Giska, Norway. And Henning, as we close, I'd like to come back to this idea of the part or the role that the studio and the engineer can play. Obviously, the band has talent. The band wants to capture their vision. B besides being the drummer, the guitar player, the vocalist, the bassist, what role does the studio and the engineer play in executing that mu musical vision? I think I think a good studio and like environment and recording process can take something good to amazing or the sky's the limit because it's an integral part. <laughs> of uh, yeah, making music, I think, because in the end, the music is coming out of s speakers. It's it's a technical process, but it's also a uh, creative process. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Henning, can't thank you enough. I've really enjoyed our conversation, getting to know you better and the studio better. Thank you. It's been really... I'm touched by your enthusiasm, both for the music making process and our studio. So I'm really happy to be here. Well, I'd love to include Giske in my travel itinerary. Listeners, you can connect with Henning and his team at oceansound.no. And as Henning mentioned, they have a great Instagram. It's at Ocean Sound Recordings on Instagram. Henning, thanks again for being on the show. Thank you. And listeners, let's continue our worldwide travels. We've stopped off at the fjords of Norway at Oceanside Recordings today. We love talking with singer-songwriters and producers and illustrators and designers, architects, restaurateurs, anybody who is putting their creativity to their craft. We love to talk to and get inspired. So until next time, I'm Mark Stenson, and we're unlocking your world of creativity. We'll see you next time. Unlocking Your World of Creativity with best-selling author and brand innovator, Mark Stinson. This program was produced by BSB Media, creators of IntelliQ Leadership Stories, Unlocking Your World of Creativity, and ThePeaceRoom.love. If you like this podcast, here's another show that you'll like from BSB Media. The Patients Speak, Healthcare Innovations Accelerating the Patient Journey. It features interviews with healthcare leaders, patient advocates, medical providers, and researchers. Presented by 83 Bar. Look for The Patients Speak on your favorite podcast app.